Hi, I'm Brittany. And I'm Hira. And today we're going to be teaching you about ear mitologies and ear infections. But first, let's learn about the anatomy of the ear. The ear is an organ that enables hearing and helps maintain balance. The ear consists of three sections, the outer, middle, and inner ear. The outer ear consists of the pinna, which catches sound waves and transmit them into the ear, and the external auditory canal, which transmits sound into the internal auditory canal. The middle ear consists of the tympanic membrane, also known as the eardrum, the three auditory ossicles, the malleus, stapes, and incus, the eustachian tube, which maintains air pressure in the ear, the oval window that separates the middle and inner ear, the round window which receives sound waves, and the tympanic bulla, which is an osseous chamber at the base of the skull. The inner ear consists of the vestibule, which contains receptors for balance and position, the semicircular canals, which contain sensory cells that detect changes in position, and the cochlea, which sends signals of sound to the brain. It's important to make sure the ear is properly cared for. When owners notice their pet having problems with their ears, they bring the animal to the clinic so the vet can take a look. Hello, I'm Dr. Brittany. And I'm Dr. Kira. Who are you going to keep talking with Buddy today? Well, he just keeps shaking his head a lot and pawing at his ears and whining, so I wonder if something's wrong. I think he might have an ear infection. We're going to perform an ear cytology to find out. Okay. I'm going to collect the sample so that we can move on. You may have an ear infection because bacteria and yeast thrive in hot, dark, and moist conditions, which can be present in the ear. Now we're going to take these samples and go and perform an ear cytology. To perform an ear cytology, you need Q-tips, a slide with a clip attached to it, a blow dryer, immersion oil, a microscope, and dip coin, which is the stain. These are the samples that we obtained from our patient, one from the right ear and one from the left ear. I'm going to take the sample from the right ear and roll it onto the right side of the slide. We roll to preserve microorganisms. And I'm going to take the sample from the left ear and roll it in the middle of the slide so I can differentiate between the two samples. Now we must heat fix our sample. Heat fixing ensures that the sample sticks to the slide so it can ensure proper dipping. In our clinic, we use a blow dryer to heat fix. Quickly pass the blow dryer under the slide for 10 seconds. Now we must dip the slide in the dip quick. First we dip in the blue, which acts as a fixative. We leave the slide in there for 10 seconds. Now, without rinsing in between, you dip in the red, which is the stain. And leave it in there for 10 seconds. And now, you dip in the purple, which is a counter stain. And leave it in for 10 seconds. Now that we are finished dipping, we can rinse the slide. To rinse the slide, turn the water on to a gentle flow and hold the slide parallel to the water. Now we're ready to put it under the microscope. Put the slide onto the microscope, lock it in place, and add a drop of immersion oil. Now I'm going to look through the microscope and scan for any yeast or bacteria. Yeast and bacteria can come in, this, in the shape of a snowman or a peanut for yeast. And bacteria can come in two shapes. Rods, which are shaped like Tylenol and are kind of rectangular, and coxy, which are round. Okay, I have found both yeast and bacteria in our samples, so our patient has an ear infection. Let's go inform the owner. Buddy has a small ear infection. We can prescribe drugs like Panalog or Automax, but we're going to give him a Metamax, which is instilled in the ear once a day. All right, thank you. 
Is there any other way that I can prevent ear infection on my other ear? Yes, we can. You can use ear flush, and that dries out the ear and regulates the pH, which prevents bacteria and yeast from forming. And for hairier dogs, you can also do an ear plug, which will use hemostats and pull out the excess hair from the ear. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Luckily, we were able to catch Buddy's infection, but ear infections that go untreated can be painful. The ears swell and it's extremely uncomfortable for the animals. That's why it's important to always inform the owner on what they can do to make sure their animals are happy and healthy.